Hey guys, Dev here from Affinity Vibe YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you two best way to cut hair in Affinity Photo. Before start this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification for getting update whenever I upload a new video. And you can follow me on my Instagram account where I upload my new artwork on regular basis. Alright, let's start the process. These are my two images and I will apply two best way one by one to cut hair in Affinity Photo. Let's start with this one. This is classic way. Take selection brush tool and brush on the image as selection like this. Use Q from keyboard to see your selection and again continue the process until you select the maximum part of the image. On here part, try to select maximum as possible. Then refine option will do the rest work. When you are happy on your selection, go to top, refine. I am keeping the default setup. Keep matte edges checked and adjustment brush matty. Again brush gently on the edges of here. Affinity Photo will automatically refine here part and remove the background. When you are happy and satisfied, go to output option and select mask and apply. Additional you can use filters, haze removal. This will remove any kind of haze fog from the image. So this is the first best way to cut here. Now second best way, selecting my next image. Now here again you can use the same classic way selection brush tool. Now to use this second best step, first you need to understand the concept of the image. This image have two different colors, one solid yellow background and the object in a red color. And this image have almost same background and object color which is white. So on this image I used selection brush tool to cut here because object and background have almost same color. So this second step cannot be used if your object and background have almost same color. But if your object and background have two different color then only you can use this step. I hope you get the point. First add a mask on the image, then select only image not mask, go to top menu, select, select sample colors. Here click on the background and take a sample color. Make tolerance around 10 to 15%. hit apply. Again do this step few more times. Select only image not mask. Go to top menu. Select. Select sample colors. Click on the background and take the sample color from the rest area. Make 
tolerance around 10 to 15 percent and hit apply. Now when you find main portion means ear part almost done but still background have the color then you can select paint brush tool select only mask and brush on the outside area to remove the background part like this but do not brush very near on the hair area. This is the reason why I add mask on the image. Again, same step, select only image, not mask, select, select sample color, click on the background where remaining color still left, click on that portion and take a sample color, make tolerance around 10 to 15 percent and hit apply. And that's it. So these are the two best way to cut hair in affinity photo. One classic way with selection brush tool and the other one by using select sample colors. But use the second option only if the object and background have two different colors. As always I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to click the like button sharing this video subscribing this affinity vibe youtube channel to get more amazing affinity photo effect tutorial also share your valuable comment on this video there are always room for learn and improvement you can connect me on my instagram account link in video description and also you can check out the other amazing video just waiting for you in this channel playlist thanks for watching i'm dave from affinity vibe youtube channel and i will see you on the next video soon till then keep practicing cause practice makes us perfect and have fun with affinity photos